Okay, hello everyone. Hope everybody is doing well and fine. Uh, here we have a numerical at hand which is saying a 4 kg sphere rests on a smooth parabolic surface. Okay, this is a smooth uh, uh, 4 kg sphere which is this is our smooth parabolic surface. Determine the normal force it exerts on the surface. Okay, uh, basically uh, we have to calculate the normal force. Uh, is being exerted on the surface and the mass mb of block b okay so there is a mass mb of block b and this mass mb is connected by means of this wire which is being attaching this sphere over here okay so we have to calculate this mass mb and the other uh, thing is that we have to calculate the normal reaction of the surface given to the 4 kg pole this is our task and hand okay now for the smooth parabolic surface one thing is very important is that they have given that uh, uh, not directly but they have defined uh, a mathematical function for the smooth parabolic surface that mathematical function is y is equals to 2.5 x square this is the mathematical function okay uh, but remember one thing that uh, this wire which is making an angle of uh, 60 degrees with the horizontal is uh, basically not the same as the function the angle over here okay which is the parabolic surface making okay so this is just uh, 60 uh, degrees uh, with the x-axis the wire is making okay with the horizontal now we are very much interested in basically uh, what will be the slope of this parabolic surface so that we can calculate this theta okay so one thing is very important over here is that uh, we know that uh, what is slope of a surface from the ground okay this slope of the surface from the ground is given by the function y is equals to 2.5 x square okay so uh, this slope of the surface from the ground is given by this function now we know if we uh, because uh, we need to calculate uh, this theta which is basically the slope of the surface so we can differentiate this uh, on both sides so d by dx of y equals to d by dx of this function uh, parabolic surface function so if we differentiate it we will get dy by dx equals to 5x okay but uh, we know that uh, this dy by dx is the slope okay so you know what is slope slope is nothing but it is the tangent of inclination so we can replace this dy by dx with this tangent theta so what we're going to get is that tangent theta is equals to 5 times of x okay now if you look at in the figure over here is that uh, they have given us two values from the uh, from this origin o okay if we, this is the origin o this is the value of the x axis which is 0 0.4 meter so we can say at x equals to 0.4 meter tan theta equals to 5 into 0.4 so we can say tan theta equals to 2 which implies that theta will be equals to tangent inverse of 2 and we can get this theta as 63.43 degrees so this theta is given as a 63.43 degrees this is very important okay because uh, this theta remember is not equal to this theta because this is 60 this is 63.43 and uh, why we are actually calculating it if you look at this figure over here okay this says the inclined plane and the slope uh, theta of the horizontal will be the same where which it will make from the vertical axis and the normal reaction uh, which is the also going to be the same theta okay so this is uh, a mathematical geometrical proof okay so the, again this geometrical proof i have basically done uh, in my videos which you can uh, which i will show you at this point if you look at on the on the right side of this uh, video you can uh, see how this uh, geometrical proof is being uh, done as it's a, it's a uh, geometrical theorem also uh, which is by, by very much widely used in uh, dynamics and vibration analysis as well okay so now this is being done so we have calculated this theta uh, so you can say that uh, this theta will be the same as this theta at point a this is the ball this is the weight of the ball acting and this is the normal reaction okay uh, and this is the the wire which is acting at point a. so once this is being done uh, we can draw uh, its uh, a video over here at point a okay this is uh, the wire we, uh, this is the this is this wire over here to here so we call this as uh, the free body diagram of this wire can be given as mb into 9.8 the weight uh, will be acting downwards which is m into g the mass is 4 and the g is 9.81 and uh, 
the normal reaction which is over here this is the normal reaction and making a, the y the, the weight and the normal reaction are making an angle of 63.43 which we have calculated over here okay so now what we can do is that uh, we can resolve it if we resolve it about the x axis the one of the components of will be mb 9.81 what will be this angle cos 60 so mb 9.81 uh, into cos 60 and uh, the other component will be of the normal reaction this component okay this is the theta so the opposite one will be sine so we will be say n sine 63.43 but this direction is opposite to plus x so we put minus sign here so this whole equation uh, basically if we simplify it we can calculate it as uh, n equals to 5.48 times of mb so this equation n is equals to in the form of 5.48 mb so there are basically two unknowns in this equation so now we apply sigma fi equal to 0 if we apply sigma fi equal to 0 what will be getting it as again we'll be getting it as uh, mb 9.81 sin 60 it will be mb 9.81 sin 60 positive and what about this other component of normal reaction it will be n times this is the theta so n cos 63.43 now the weight is acting downwards w into 9.81 so it will be 39.24 okay equals to 0 so now this equation if you look at it uh, is uh, again having so now uh, 8.498 mb uh, plus 0 0.4472 times of n we have multiplied it cos 63.43 is this times of n equals to 39.24 uh, newton so we further simplify it and uh, is 8.948 mb plus 0 0.4472 and uh, we can put the, the value of n over here what is the value of n 5.48 mb over here now the entire equation is in mb uh, we can just simplify it say equation 2 simplify it will get mb as 3.58 kg and if you put this mb equals to 3.5 kg over here you will get your uh, normal reaction uh, as uh, you will get your normal reaction as uh, 19.7 newton okay so i hope uh, you have understood this problem uh, thank you very much and have a good day